Did you know that DVM has global disables and filter options where you could either partially or fully disable a feature wholesale? Because this section was specifically designed for users who have a specific need to turn off a whole feature because maybe they're augmenting it with a week or, or maybe they're running DVM and big wigs at the same time and decide they want to use DVM for this and big wigs for that. This allows you to do that by just taking this very specific features you don't want DBM for and just killing them outright. I'm going to start with the first section. This is where you disable features wholesale. You click things in here and they're gone. First option applies to regular warnings, both set text and sound. Now, regular warnings are the ones that are non emphasized, the ones where you might see like targets A, B, and C have this debuff or uh, the phase changed or just a warning that's lower priority, that's these. You click that, gone. All of them. Yeah, show special announce. These are, these are different. The first checkbox does not affect these. The second checkbox is, and I split these up because sometimes you might even have even more niche needs. Apply, apply to special warnings like that blaze warning I just saw, showed you. This turns off the text, not the sound. Maybe you only like to hear it and don't need to see it. You can do this. Bam, text is gone. Next one, screen flash. Bam, screen flash is gone. At this point, now the only thing that happens is it plays a sound. This one it applies to controllers. Now the controller won't vibrate anymore. Here we are, sounds. Do not play sounds. And let's say you want to do it in a different way. Let's say you just want to turn the sounds off. Maybe you have weak aura sounds, but you still want the text and the flash. Now the sounds are off, but you still have the text, the flash, and the controller vibrate globally. You won't get sounds from any special warning, period. But there is one thing important to note here. This disables the special warning sounds, which means run away, little girl. Be aware. It doesn't disable the voice pack. The voice pack right now is still on a different screen. That's something I need to fix because global disable should all be in one place. But if you do have the voice pack enabled, you have to also do this. Set to none. That way you won't hear voice pack sounds or special warning sounds. They're all gone. Private aura sounds. Email has a new feature where private auras can still register a sound. But maybe again, you have a weak aura for this and you don't want DBM doing it. No private aura sounds for any private aura. Next section, timers. This is also broken down again because maybe, for example, you want to use DBM's more advanced nameplate timers, Mythic Plus, but in raids, you want to use something else for timers, like a weak aura pack that is common in Classic. Or maybe you just, your guild is making you use bigwigs in raids and they're there's no uh, allowance for DBM, but you still prefer DBM when you're not forced to raid with this guild. Well, this is the place for you because you can say, do not show timers on dungeon and raid bosses, but you can leave this unchecked and still get all those amazing nameplate timers for all the trash and Mythic Plus. Then you can disable other features like the Q prompts, or uh, break timers and pull timers. Or you just want to kill the audio countdowns globally, but still the timers. That's where you do this here. The nameplate features is pretty much the nameplate ROs that I use on boss fights and the nameplate cooldown timers. If you want to disable them specifically without actually disabling timers, you can do that here. Then miscellaneous feature, this is where all that stuff like other other stuff are like frames, like do not set icons on targets, period. Do not show the range frame, do not show the info frame. HUD map doesn't really apply except for classic outdoor world. So that's not that important. Do not send chat yells. Maybe you're having a weak or do that instead. Do not accept shared notes. This has to do with the notes feature. I just did a video on. That supports sharing notes. 
this blocks uh people sharing notes with you. Do not handle auto gossip options. Auto gossip is when you like click on a book as your vault and it auto teleports you without you clicking the gossip option. And that's the global disables. This is where you disable any feature that you don't want in DBM so you can make it like maybe you only want it to be a timer mod, nothing else, because you're using weak auras for info frames, you're using weak auras for chat yells and icons, you're using weak auras for alerts and sounds. You disable everything but timers. Now DBM is your timer mod, and you eliminate all the redundancy that has made your experience otherwise feel spammy because you have two things trying to tell you the same thing at the same time, which is never good. This is why these options exist. Next category, reduce information. This is a category designed around filtering and not disabling. Some of these filters are already on by default because it's better for the user experience. And did you know that by default, target warnings are disabled if they don't include you? Unless it's just deemed uh, like a high priority target warning. So, for example, a target, or a target warning that can wipe the entire raid like the file, that's going to be on for, even if this filter's on because it's, it's designated as a no filter disability rule. But in general, this reduces unnecessary information that doesn't apply to your character and it's on by default. This next one is also on by default. This he escalates warnings if you're doing trivial content. One of the cooler features DVM added in recent years. That means you're going into an old raid to do a transmog run. You don't need DBM yelling at you, GTFOs, for a spell that's 30 levels lower than you. Or the swap, swap, and the tank debuff stacks get high, etc. This basically takes warnings. Checks them against your player level, checks the level of the content you're in, and if uh, there's a large discrepancy, just de escalates them for you. Reduce spam in old content. Now, these are also enabled by default. Do not show announcements or timers for events that are far away. This applies to bosses where you separate a great distance. For example, the, the ship blockade in a uh, Battle of uh, the Zal Lore, or however the name of that core temple is. I'm an alliance player, as you can tell. If, you're, if your group is like widely separated, the group over here doesn't need to know what's going on over here. So this just by default filters distance based on distance. Now, Blizzard had broken this feature for a brief period of time. When we brought up that they broke it, they thought about it and they're like, you know what? That's actually a good feature for us not to break. So they rolled back the breakage so that boss mods can still do this. This one just strips realms from cross realm, self explanatory. Now, filter roll. These options are about not showing alerts. They don't apply to you based on your role. Like a little known fact, all taunt warnings are on by default for all users, and instead it uses this filter. So never turn this off, really, unless you're the raid leader and want to know what's going on, because if you turn this off, it will tell you to taunt the boss, even if you're a healer or a DPS. This one is about the spells. This is a cool feature to where the spell warning will actually check your spell book to see if your dispel is on cooldown. And if it is, to process the alert automatically. This is on by default. This is on by default. But I like to turn it off because I prefer debugging. This basically means if you're doing a normal or follower dungeon, trash alerts will not be displayed. But sometimes you might want to actually do a follower dungeon to test your UI before going into Mythic Plus. Turn this off because this is what's making the alerts not show. These are the interrupt filters. Filter if caster is not current target or focus. That's on by default. Filter if interrupt spells on cooldown. That's on by default. You really don't want to turn these off unless you like spam. That's all I'm really going to say. But you can turn them off if you want to. And there's additional filters here that aren't on by default. Let's say you're the healer and you just don't care. If, even, if you, even if you're a paladin and you have an interrupt, you don't care. You're not going to interrupt. 
You're dead set on being a healer, and that's all you do. Turn this on so you don't get warnings to interrupt spells anymore. But if you're doing Mythic Plus, you should be kicking too. Just saying. This filter is interesting because it applies to interrupts if, the, if, the, if there's a note in the warning. If there's no note in the warning, this filter does nothing. But if there is a note in the warning, like the notes feature I demonstrated the other day in a video, it would, it would actually take all the interrupt warnings that do not have your name and not show them at all. So if, say, it's like a three interrupt rotation and it's got three names in it, you're only going to see the interrupt warning even pop up when your name is in it. That's what this filter does. Nonetheless, it's still off by default because this might not be a desired behavior or the notes feature. By default, you will see all alerts with names, including your own, just so you can see whose turn it is because it helps you know who's next if you remember the order. But it exists if you have it. Trash interrupt filter options. This differs from the boss ones, but the same concept applies here. That's pretty much it for the filter options. These are for, are for like higher end guilds and raid leaders. These were designed in mind for where the raid leader can, can control global disables for the entire raid. This is a feature unique to DBM, by the way, and very useful. If a raid leader enables this, Icon marking is disabled for all users in the entire raid that are using DBM, period. This disables chat bubbles for all users in the entire raid, including your own. This disables reply whispers for the entire raid. Maybe you're up doing Mythic Prog and you don't want someone to be able to whisper any of your raiders and get a status reply that says, so and so is fighting this boss throughout this percent, and they've wiped this many times. You don't want to share the information like this. This actually takes it one level further and disables the guild sync protocol for their group. So the casuals that are in your guild even don't even see your boss progress. Because normally DPM is a cool feature to where if you're in a guild that has a raid that's pulling a boss, and you're not in that raid, you see messages in chat that says, uh, Guild is engaged boss. Guild is defeated boss. Guild is wiped on boss. This disables that. That's about it for global disables and filters. So I hope it helps serve you in reducing spam information overload in, in your uh, UI. And if you like more videos on help with DPM or just more videos in general, please like and subscribe. So you can see me in the next one.